Vladimir Putin took part in an extraordinary BRICS summit on the Palestinian-Israeli conflict held via video conference. Mr. Ramaphosa, colleagues, friends, we thank the initiative of the President of South Africa as the current chair of BRICS to convene an extraordinary summit to discuss the escalation in the Gaza Strip has come at the right time. The thousands of deaths and mass expulsion of civilians, the humanitarian disaster unfolding in the area are causing deep concern. Just now, one of our colleagues spoke of the deaths of a large number of children. It is terrible, but when you watch children being operated on without anesthesia, it certainly evokes intense feelings. And all of that is, in fact, happening as a consequence of the United States' aspiration to monopolize the mediation role in in the Palestinian-Israeli settlement process and block the activities of the Middle East Quartet of international mediators. This is history's way of demonstrating that attempts to single-handedly cut the Palestinian knot are unviable and counterproductive. Russia's stance is consistent and independent of momentary conditions. We urge the international community to join efforts aimed at de-escalating the situation, negotiating a ceasefire, and achieving a political solution to the Palestinian-Israeli conflict. The BRICS states and the countries in the region could play a key role in this work. It is worth noting that all BRICS countries have similar positions on the need to collectively reach long-term and durable settlement of the long-standing Palestinian-Israeli problem. I would like to emphasize that such humanitarian pauses and, better still, a full ceasefire is essential to continue the efforts to free hostages and evacuate civilians and foreigners from the Gaza Strip. Of course, by all accounts, the most urgent goal is to reach a truly long-term and sustainable truce. In this context, we consider it extremely useful to continue discussing subsequent developments in the Palestinian-Israeli conflict in BRICS. If there are no objections, colleagues, we will initiate possible contacts, including via video conference, concerning these issues during Russia's upcoming BRICS presidency next year. Thank you for your attention. And thank you for your understanding.